All right, guys. Welcome to another awesome edition of Dipping Milk and Cookies. I am Garrett Cookie Commander Smith. With me, as always, Michael Master Motherfucking Milker Segovia. Woo! What's up, Playboy? Oh, you know, just the uh, same shit, different day. Yeah, Hanging yeah. in there, keeping yeah, yeah. it real. Yeah, Raw keeping onion. on. Keep on keeping on. Raw onion. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, we're uh, we're actually gonna be ahead of schedule which is really awkward because <laughs> you were just here yesterday mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh recording the the 420 episode now you are back the next day to record next week's episode which will make my life a lot easier so appreciate you doubt but eventually we're gonna get enough followers we're gonna do this daily Ooh. dude that's the dream that'd that's what's tight. up man that would be sick yeah right get on that joe rogan day. joe rogan level that's what's up dude like just i just have a giant warehouse be like uh the uh the fantasy factory but cooler but podcast dude <clears throat> just have a whole fucking office building set up for podcasts i'll still do some about fucking this. cool shit though It'll just be like our hangout oh yeah yeah, yeah. Like... i mean that's a given that's yeah. a given for sure there's a yeah. lot of fucking horse fuckery going on in that building what do you guys gotta spend 20 hours a day at your stupid fucking warehouse for if you have to ask episodes? if you have to ask you are not ready for the answer in Should layman's <laughs> terms, it's above your fucking pay grade. All right, so Wait, don't worry about it. Let me it. get this straight. You spent 20 hours a day there, and your show is only an hour long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do for another 19 hours? <laughs> With that little guy? Don't worry about that little guy. Don't worry about that little guy. <laughs> uh, so as promised, uh, we're going we're gonna to do our sports, uh, our sports episode uh, for, for this upcoming week. Um, again, it's, it's really on the fly, so... I, I I basically bequeath the uh, controls. Bequeath? Be <laughs> nasty. He's so nasty. Um, I bequeathed the controls. Mike, you have the con on the iPad over there, so you're uh, you're on point as far as the conversation goes right now. What is the state of like sports right now? Essentially, disarray. Yeah, complete disarray. I know that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, everything is. It's everything's just so, I guess from a um, like a business standpoint right now mm -hmm. for like the sports, they're losing money hand over fist, and they're all right now trying to work out deals with the players and the unions on like being able to still pl uh, pay the players, but you know players gotta understand and be like, well, you're not doing anything, you're not so playing. Like, why the game. am I gonna pay you your full salary? Like you yeah. know, so there've been some talks and some some stuff has been getting worked out. Um, I think the NBA's got one coming up, or they, or no, um, yeah, I think the NBA's got uh one that they just did that's good up until, or it's gonna pay them their full salary like up until like some point in May. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, then it's kind of kind of like, well, if the season starts back up, then all right. But if not, then they're in limbo. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Yeah. Uh, NFL is still gonna be doing their draft this week. Mm -hmm. Uh, starts Thursday, I believe. It's a virtual draft, though, right? Yeah. yeah. So I think either <laughs> Bill Burr made that comment, just like the draft, it's still going to be the draft, but it's going to be like as if the fifth round pick, sixth round, just waiting for that phone call. <laughs> but it's going to be the for the for the for the first round pick. It's going to be so weird. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the truth. That's so funny. Yeah, they uh, they're going to run a uh, test run with all the the franchises to see like a mock draft kind of thing. Make sure mm -hmm. there's nothing happens. Uh I've heard some radio analysts say, like, you know, there's concerns about there being a hack and, like, picks getting all fucked up and stuff, but. Which is definitely yeah, believable. <laughs> but I'm sure that the NFL probably, like, got a hold of, like, the CIA or FBI was like, hey. It's really funny that you mentioned that because I heard about a conspiracy about the coronavirus <laughs> revolving around the NFL. Because if you think about it, what was the last major sporting event that happened before the uh, the outbreak? Uh, oh, are you talking about like when this here happened here in America? Yeah. Uh, well, it happened in the middle of March, so the Super Bowl was in February, and then and yeah. now and then, oh, let me ask you this: What are the projections? If you've been on top of it, paying attention to like what the uh, what the projections are as to when the country will be back to capacity, you know what month that is? It's supposed to be February. No. Oh, uh, September then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happens in September? Well, it's supposed to be the kickoff of the new season. <laughs> but what does that have to do with anything, though? Because it's, it's between... Like, 
No, 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 no. I'm not saying that the the NFL had any like hand into like releasing a fucking biological agent. No, or I know. But just like the government, the government had to have known that like something was coming, some oh, sort yeah, of like of problem course. was coming back last year. Last year, we'll just we'll, for the argument's sake, we'll say in December they knew unequivocally we were going to have a problem on our hands. Yeah, because it was already happening in China. Before exactly, that. exactly. So come February, Super Bowl, like it's one of the biggest fucking sporting events of uh, of the United States. Oh, yeah. Really, it's one of the biggest fucking money makers. They let that happen still, and then swiftly the next month they were like, shut it down, fucking cut it out. Uh, and then now, again, the projections as to when the country should theoretically be kind of back into the into the full swing of things, September, end of the year. So football that doesn't season. make any sense because then the government's losing money from all the taxes from the NHL, NASCAR, golf, baseball, all that. What are the real that surpass what are, what what are the real make? cash crops for sports though? <clears throat> Such as like the major sports. Well, the major sports are uh, NFL, NHL, MLB, and NBA. And then, but out of the four, what makes the most money? The NFL does, but if you're going to shut down all those other sports, do you know how many games of baseball they're losing money out on? Dude, yeah, no, the the, ba- the baseball <clears throat> and the basketball season, for sure. Yeah, well, no, even hockey. Hockey's a fucking. They have like a hundred and NASCAR uh, is sold out all the time. They have how many tens of thousands? How many, of how many games there. are in an a, uh, uh, NHL season? Uh, like 80 or 90 or something like that. Okay, so yeah. Something like that. I know Maybe baseball is 162, 63. Yeah, so they're uh, losing out way more money in that span from all those sports than what they would have made from that one day just from the Super Bowl. Like, that's the fair. government doesn't really make that no, no, much no, it's money. All, it's, a, that. it's a conspiracy theory, people. Well, bam. Shot that shit down. Yep, that's what we do for now on. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking wild, though. It's, it is yeah. kind of, it's a weird coincidence. <laughs> Yeah, but they would just be shooting themselves in the foot. Then they'd be losing money out on that deal. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, but even still, uh, they were going to be having their draft this week, uh, doing it virtual, like you said. Some NFL news today, though. Did you hear about the the Gronkowski? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For <laughs> you got big, got fucking dude. traded for like a fifth, sixth round pick or something. Yeah, like so that. Gronk- uh, Gronkowski got traded to Tampa Bay for a fucking like fourth round, and I thought maybe they threw in a seventh round. I could be wrong. That's so sad. But I know that it's just a fucking that deal is just dumb. It is it's so sad. Like it really, it, and it sucks because I like Gronk. Oh, I do he's too. such a he, not only is he like a star on the football field but he's just a good dude like there's so much content on youtube you could you you could search youtube search right now rob gronkowski and he'll show up on fallon he'll show up on fucking kimmel he'll show up on all WWE. of these wwe like I all think of he does that a lot shit. Of stuff with nickelodeon too yeah man he's like, just a good dude he's a really good and naturally he's 30 years old that's what I don't understand. He's only been <gasps> retired for one year. Ugh. He played for nine. Sure, he had plenty of surgeries. But how many Super Bowl championships does he have just in those nine years? He took a year break to let his body like rest up. Smart. Dude, this Smart. this is a this is a conspiracy in the NFL. This shit would go back probably like two or three seasons now, where Brady and Gronkowski already wanted to get out, but Brady had his deals going on, you know, where he's like, All right, I just gotta finish this out, finish this out. And Gronkowski was like, well, I don't. I'm going to fucking retire. And I come back wherever you go. Just fucking hit me up, dude. I'm, who's not going to take Rob Gronkowski? Yeah, like, exactly. The Gronk, man. Fucking, fucking Gronk. Gronk smash, dude. Man, hell yeah. But it's yeah, great, I, I did hear about that, though, yeah. Uh, so it's, what's great about that is my cousin Zach is a Falcons fan. Mm-hmm. And this offseason, the NFC South just got really, really good. Like, all the moves that everybody made. It's just, and now <laughs> I talked some shit to him today. I was just like, hey, man, I got a feeling that uh, 75 plus and at least one tutty every game. And you guys play him <laughs> twice. It's Gronkowski. You know it. Oh, man. Doesn't matter where he goes. Because <laughs> that's going to be so great. Because as he's a Falcons fan, this whole season, I can remind him of the 28 and 3. He's like, Brady's coming for you. He's getting that. Yep. <laughs> you hear the footsteps, bitch? <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> Don't let the fucking rings blind you. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a great, great oh, uh, when it happens. Yeah, but see, now I'm hoping that the Packers go ahead and try to get uh, 
uh, O.J. Howard from him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, man, they need another tight end, too. But yeah. Be starting yeah, I was going to say, that's a whole different podcast. Um, yes, that's another episode. Yeah, NBA, like, right now they're saying that they have no plans. That's what really sucks is because we were killing it. Milwaukee obviously killing yeah, it Yeah, see, the that's why they released the fucking COVID-19. And, like, Bucks, not, no, they're not going to win that shit. Nope. We can't let that happen. Kill, we can't, we kill can't 200,000 people. Bucks ain't winning that. Send it. Send that shit. And then you know what? Send that shit. The government's just like, well, what difference does it make if they win and they have a big riot? They're just going to kill 200,000 people in the city of Milwaukee any fucking way. So let's just, <laughs> let's just spread it out so it's not so bad. You know? Fuck out. <laughs> Makes sense, though, doesn't it? It's going to be huge. <laughs> yeah. Huge. Billions. Huge. Billions and billions and billions. Um, but... I was hearing something too, but they might do like a, a shortened season. Uh, wait until after the 26th to see how uh, uh, May 26th after the new extension, um, how it's all looking. And they might just seed everybody, but see it's that's running really, really late. But they can they can squeeze all their playoff games into one month, mm-hmm. or you know, spill a little bit over into July. Yeah, um, because they're already having such a long break. They said they need like oh. A month to get back into game shape mm-hmm. so if <laughs> which is fucking ridiculous what are you doing right now you should you you're a professional athlete who has had nothing but fucking off days what do you do on your off days asshole well you work out and no. you fucking live the sports star life yeah that's when you do fucking coke off of strippers titties <laughs> and you fucking get in your home bone blown behind you like dude it's <laughs> You tuck it back, and there's a chick blowing you, and you're snorting coke she off another said, chick's titties. Like, the back. I never and at the same time, you're fucking back. playing Warzone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, fucking all the, most of those knuckleheads ain't doing shit right now. They probably work out a little bit, but that's what, and that's they're, they're not in game up. shape. That's that's my point. Is they're not game shape. That, right that now, comes this from ideally. playing the games, though. Like you can only be in so much shape. Because of the restrictions, like you can't you can't have scrimmages, like you can't fucking hang out with anybody. You're all I know is yourself. all these fucking dudes have treadmills. That's all I know. You know what I mean? Like I just hope that they're they're doing their fucking jobs and they're staying in shape. Because just because everything is shut down right now doesn't mean it's gonna go away for fucking ever. You know, goddamn well, if we were both pro athletes and we were on the same team, we would not be working out. We'd be hanging out. Yes, we would. Playing Warzone. No, yes, doing coke off a of titty. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I mean, that second, the latter part, I don't know. I don't, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. But, uh, I mean, but no, no, no. Oh, I oh. guarantee you, that's what I've been saying. What have I been saying is I've been missing Orange Theory. And I'm a fat fuck. I do not enjoy working out, but for whatever reason, Orange Theory, those hour-long classes, they're a pain in the dick, but they make you feel fucking fantastic. When you walk out that door, you're sweaty as shit, knowing, like, I'm going to go home, I'm going to take that shower, and when I get out of that shower, I'm going to feel like a million dollars. It's, it's, I miss that shit. I miss that shit. It sucks. And it sucks because I'm gaining weight again. We haven't talked about that in a while. My whole weight loss yeah, shit. I didn't want to mention it. No, no, no. It's it hasn't gotten bad. Just fuck it because with you. I'm still no, no, no. But I'm you know still... what? There's apps on your phone you can find right now. I guarantee you, know, Orange Theory or like a Dude, yoga no, no, no. or something. I, I have the subscription. Or something. I'm, part, I'm a member, so they so send why you us... come get it, man? You can do it because I'm a fucking bitch. Like I, I. So can't... then, if we were pro athletes, you would be doing the same thing. <laughs> but no, I'd have you. I'd have you because then I'd make you my bitch, and I'd be I'm like, all right, let's do it. 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 Yeah, what the fuck is that? When does it do? Fuck. When Zimzer do over there? I don't know. <laughs> Any day now. <laughs> it's going to be a soccer player. Uh, there could be two in there. I don't know. Oh, my God. I got to go to the chiropractor so bad. You know, I was thinking about that when I was on my way here because I've been, like, trying to crack my back a lot lately. I'll crack like, back lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that the last three times I was here. And well. I never asked you to because I'm like, he doesn't want to because yeah. he fucking forgot all about yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking dude. But yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, NHL, I think their shit's. What? Uh, it's indefinitely and in, uh, suspended. Um, mm-hmm. That's right, though. Nobody really watches NHL shit. We don't have an. We don't have a hockey team. No, our closest one the is. Well, yeah, that's the AHL for the uh, the National Predators. So, like, I do like the Predators by proxy, um, but the closest one Blackhawks is the Blackhawks, and then there's the Minnesota. I think they call Wild, uh, Detroit Red Wings. Dude, duh! How have I not thought about that? What? I'm gonna be a Red Wings fan. 
fuck the Blackhawks. Yeah. That's why I like the Predators, because they're affiliated with the AHL team here mm-hmm. in Milwaukee Admiral, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I don't like any of these fucking shows around us. <laughs> I honestly... Well, I'm not going to lie. They've truth be told, really good truth be told, the years. Past, past the NFL and past MLB, it's just like, I have no interest in basketball. I really have no interest in NHL. But when it comes to the Brewers and the Packers, like, yeah, I'll pay attention. The Packers more than the Brewers. There's just so much fucking... There's so much baseball. There is. 162 games. That's well, It's even more than that sports. if you go back into the spring training and then you go after the regular season into the postseason. Well, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could the have regular season. The regular season. Yeah. yeah they, they could be playing potentially, what? 200 games 200 games. games. <laughs> yeah, 185? Dude, dude, like something like retarded. That's fucking madness. That's fucking madness. That's a lot of sports. That's a lot of sports. And granted, like baseball isn't uh, baseball isn't a, a contact sport like football or uh, oh, it like is. Hockey. If you fucking throw it at somebody, no, 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 you no, no, throw no. Some But see, that's the thing. That's the thing. It's a different aspect because, like, dude, you I, I still, up, I still to this day will always respect a baseball player over certain sports, uh, you know, sports people, so to speak. Because, like, if you think about it, uh, what's that movie? Uh, Pacino or not Pacino, but uh, De Niro. The Untouchables, The Untouchables, great movie by the way. If Kevin you haven't Costner seen it, too, yep, 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 yep. Sean Connery, um, <laughs> Sean Connery's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you fucking dago bastard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, but in that movie, he's got a great line. Uh, baseball. What's baseball? When you're at the plate, it's time for individual individual achievement. But when you're in the field, you're part of a team. You're part of a team. So uh, <laughs> um, if you think about when when a pitcher throws a fucking 90-mile-an-hour fastball 90 feet away from you, not only do you have to have the wherewithal to say, like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure that that crazy – 90 mile an hour fastball isn't gonna hit me but i actually feel like if i hit it i can switch it swing my body just just the right way just the right time that i can crack that bitch 370 feet bam go fucking yard that's regulation right it's 370 uh shortest part probably in like cincinnati or like philadelphia i think a lot of them are somewhere in that like 380 to Four, I think what's center field at Miller Park? I think four it's like twenty six. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it's I. It, it's like it don't matter. It's still either pretty way, good. It's a good play. Either way, in a nanosecond, again, a ball is coming at you ninety miles an hour. Within a nanosecond, you have to decide it's not going to hit me, and I'm going to be able to actually make contact to it, and not only make contact to it, but then send it fucking yard, and put it out of the park. That shit blows my mind to this day. Just the mechanics of a ball coming in at 90 miles an hour with the velocity of a fucking swing to clap it at the same exact moment, at the perfect moment to send it fucking downtown, man. That's, oh, that shit blows my mind. Uh, Well, that's what always tricked me out, too, about, like, how people would get really upset about uh, players using steroids. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. Make it entertaining. I understand people don't like the idea. But that increases your strength. That does not increase your ability to see the fucking ball. You're, you're still, you still need those uh, capabilities to hit that ball. Yeah. Like you have to, like all, everything has to work still, and you're just getting stronger. So you're, you're just, just trying to yeah, get home runs. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Who fucking cares? Yeah. You just you in have football the power. too. You have in football too. Power. If the dudes want to fucking get super jacked and have their six pack have six packs, like I don't, we'll know. Like I don't, know. I don't do know. I don't know. I don't know if I can agree with that one because football is a contact sport yeah and even though i know baseball can be a contact sport it's technically not categorized as a contact sport but you're using your your muscles in uh football to to evade these dudes and these dudes are trying to catch you so like you're you're building this muscle to be be able to have more speed i mean it's like you're 
they already have nasty, brutal hits as it is right now. Well, of course. It's just That's never going to go away. No, it's never. It's never going to go away. Anything, it's going to get worse because these <laughs> yeah, dudes are going to get yeah. fucking bigger but, and beefier. Yeah. And, it's and, just the, gonna... and the fucking, and the, and the, uh, the, the, uh, the equipment's going to get more sophisticated, more sophisticated, so that you can take, you can withstand that yeah, blow. Yeah, soon enough, be yeah. knights in armor running yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bop, bop. yeah, yeah. And then we'll be fucking, we'll be watching the championship of the northeastern western yep. southern south division <laughs> northeastern west split conference this is the second time that we've had that reference on this show so here great. it is that's such a great fucking <laughs> clip that's such a great clip if you've never seen basketball fuck yourself first off but if you have you understand kenny main that fucking scene <laughs> and he, who's he with um Stuart scott i think no 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 no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't Stuart Scott. Uh, it's older white guy. Oh, man. He's got his own fucking radio show. Wait, you said it was Kenny Mayne and... Uh... I know the guy that delivers the line is Kenny Mayne, but he's with, like, a legend. I think oh, it's Scott man. Van Pelt he's It's with. not Scott Van Pelt. You have the tablet. Fucking search it up right now. Oh, man. Stand by. Stand by, guys. Anyways, let's... Uh, what else? No, 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 no. That's going to bother me until I fucking... Well, no, we will. Is. I'll find it. Um, it's Kenny Maine and, um, Dan, no, Dan Patrick, is Dan it? Patrick. That's, that's it. That's it. I guarantee you. That's what it is. I don't even need to know. Like, no, it's, it's Dan like, Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. It is. Uh, yeah, that shit's so funny. I Watch like basketball. That. Watch baseball. It's fucking, it's a, it's, it's a by classic. the same guys that do South Park. So yeah. if you guys like yeah. South Park, you're going to like yeah. fucking baseball. Trey Parker, and if you don't, Stone. you're a fucking loser. You're probably an arc. Probably yeah, an arc. An arc. <laughs> oh, good job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totes my loads. Um, so, yeah, we wanted to get to um, watch basketball, by the way. We wanted to get to our top five <laughs> coach freakouts, which, like, we'll, we'll obviously post all of the, uh, the links to all of the YouTube videos. We can't really play them right now just because... We're not really trying to fuck with the licensing department of YouTube. Not right now, at least. <laughs> um, so we're just going to go over them. And I'm sure whoever's listening, and even to the new listeners, you can follow the links. They're they're the funniest, <laughs> the funniest shits ever. But, I mean, at the same time, I don't want to fucking rag on them too hard because I've never had to deal with the pressure of a, of a championship game on that kind of like caliber and that level. So, oh, uh, some of these knuckleheads fucking spaz out in any <laughs> even fucking oh, championship <laughs> games, dude. It's just, just fucking week one or yeah. some shit, just get blown <laughs> out. And you're just like, oh, and then a really bad preseason, and then regular season starts, and you just get fucking blown out. <laughs> All right, so, uh, since we're not going to play the video, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll post the links and everything, mm -hmm. so instead of doing the top five, I'm gonna give you the top 10. Uh, coach freakouts, and then we'll talk about which ones that we remember. Because as I read this, some of these I don't remember, but if I see it, mm -hmm. there's a good chance it just I, uh, immediately yeah, comes back. Click. Yeah. Uh, but then we'll talk about out of these top ten, which ones we remember, and then which ones are our favorite. Okay. And as I was reading it, I was just like, oh man, yeah, all right. I remember that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, starting at number ten is uh, Mike Singletary. I want winners rant. That one I don't remember. Negative. But uh, is that when he was? Yeah, okay. So it was when he was with the 49ers. So I'll remember that if I see that. But that one's still not as good as what we got coming. Uh, next one, number nine, Bill Callahan. Dumbest team in America. I don't remember that one either. <laughs> I don't remember that one either. And that's what's funny is like the little Let me see. synopsis here too. It says, I still can't figure this one out. Was Bill Callahan insulting his players or himself? <laughs> 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 he says that the Raiders have to be the dumbest team in America, but doesn't that start with coaching? Mm, good one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's... That dude hates his life. That guy <laughs> right there. Yeah, his he has, he has like... <laughs> He has a legitimate forum, and he fucking, he takes his fucking, that's like he treats it like a psychiatry fucking session. Oh, my God. That's so funny. 
No, we could always just lead it back to bad coaching. You know, shit, guy. <laughs> uh, number eight, Bill Parcells. Consider yourself sucked. Mm, I don't remember that one either. I don't remember that one either. Uh, this must have been when he was with Dallas because it's got T.O. Oh. A little comment in there about T.O. on this little synopsis. What year was that? Uh, it had to be early 2000s because T.O. has been retired for probably close to I was going to say that's like 2006, years, seven. Something, something like that. Maybe a little bit earlier. Four. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, number seven, Jerry Burns. All of this because of a shoe. Basketball. Basketball, right? No, no, no. This is all NFL. All uh, of them are NFL? Yeah. Well, it's going to be a little difficult to understand what Jerry Burns is saying in this video. That's Once because 80% is. of it is cut out due to swearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This press conference was after a Vikings and Rams matchup in 1989. Oh man, Burns is livid about good. some mistakes in the game, one of which was a play where running back Alfred Anderson lost his shoe before a goal line play. Burns defends his offensive coordinator despite the team failing to score a single touchdown in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he tried, right? I mean, he fucking tried. That's there's always next season, right? We'll get him right. No, dog, you're fucking done. <laughs> Fuck, dude, you fired. fucking suck. You're fucking, you're done, buddy. You didn't fall pro to him. You're done, pop, dude. You're fucking done. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the best part of the Vikings won this game 23-21. <laughs> what field goal? No hey, safety, 23-21. to That's And then the points. next one was just like, imagine what Burns was like after his team lost. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just sat in his office. <laughs> Fucking probably shot himself, dude. You hear like a knock on the door. It's just like, go away. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> it closed. We should post oh, this too. Fuck. This is on. Um, oh, that's so good. Uh, Bleacher <laughs> Report. This is from Bleacher Report. So they're they're good with their shit. Yeah, this is the this is an NFL link. Uh, but this is an old one. But I can definitely tell you that. These still have stood the test of time, but I bet you there's some good ones too now. Uh, I gotta get an updated one. Um, let's see, where was I? Number seven, number six is uh, Mike Ditka. What do you care? I think I know that one. Uh, ran, uh, when he was coaching the... the New Orleans Saints. Oh no, so that's, I don't know yeah, if, that's yeah, old that one. Ditka. Uh, number five, Jim Mora, Diddley Pooh. Uh, New Orleans Saints <laughs> fall nineteen to seven to the uh, Carolina Panthers. I remember that one. The team is now two and six. Why? Because we couldn't do diddly poo. Jim Mora may be one of the most. Wait, wait, wait. excuse me. What did you just say? <laughs> what was that? You fucking hurt me. We didn't do diddly poo, man. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Uh, he may be mo one. one of the most amusing and honest coaches in the history of the league. The Diddly Poo rant was a final, was the final press conference Mora had with the Saints. He resigned as head coach the following day. Yeah, because they the couldn't do Diddly Poo, man. The following day, the following day, he got the phone call when he got home, and it was just like, "What the fuck are you doing? You understand? You just shot yourself directly in the fucking foot, right? What are you talking about? Diddly Poo, Diddly Poo, man. Diddly Poo, Diddly Poo. All right, well, clean out your office. You're done." <laughs> uh, number four, John McKay. We made up for it. Unfortunately, I was able to find a video of any John McKay's many rants. McKay was the first coach of the expansion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He dealt with many difficult situations. Many of these led to wonderful sound bites. Hmm. I don't remember him. I don't either. So we'll just get past that guy. But it's got to be a good one. But now we come to the territory. Here we go. We're top three now, right? Yeah. And these are the top three. Are guaranteed to be in everybody's top three in the entire yeah, fucking world. I was just about world. to say, they have to be the ones I'm thinking of. Oh, man. But the the order is hard to, like, they're all so fucking good. Maybe we'll go, here we go, here we go. Number three. What is your guess, Garrett? Playoffs has, he has to be number one. Um, yeah. Uh... So number three, it's either got to be Allen Iverson with practice. No, no, no. This is NFL head coaches, not just Rams. Oh, oh, yeah. Yep. Um, shit. We we did both of them outside. <laughs> before okay, we started. so then, so then it's uh, 
uh dennis dennis green mm -hmm. uh they who they we wait, hold on wait the end scene uh they were who we thought they were and we let them off the hook so that's gonna be one of them and uh i'm a man i'm fucking 40 no that's college god damn it yeah but <laughs> i three. drive a taurus <laughs> <laughs> I drive a Dodge Stratus. Stratus, fuck. All right, number three was uh, Herm Edwards. Why do you play Herm? Why do you play the you game? You play to win the game. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. Oh. Yeah, yeah, God. yeah, buddy. Oh man. Uh, fuck. <laughs> that was number three. How did I not get that? Son of a bitch. That's okay because there's so many good. I ones. got the other two. I got the other two. Yeah, number two was uh, Dennis Green. They are who we thought they were. Everybody we let him off the classic. Hook. That's let fucking him off the classic. Hook. That's the best. That's my favorite, without a doubt, by and far. It, we'll post the link. Please follow that link because it is so funny. If you really enjoy sports, you'll understand like the angle that he was coming from and the frustration <laughs> that he was coming from. It's it's a good laugh. It's a good laugh. Continue. I'm sorry. And then number one is playoffs. Playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about playoffs. <laughs> Those, these are all good. Mm -hmm. I mean, shit. If you watch a game, no, you don't even have to watch a game. You just watch like the the post game show for the twelve o'clock games on Sundays. Man, you get to see some pretty good rants too, because like they, they catch that shit and they give you a little snippet of it. Oh, okay. Could you imagine being like the cameraman? <laughs> yeah. <they're> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But you can't do that. That's part of your job. You can't laugh. You can't. You have to be professional. But it's just like just knowing, just in that moment, knowing you're filming this coach. It's gonna end up on Sports Center. You know, oh, yeah. it's you're like I'm getting it. No, this oh, is yeah. gonna be so good. <laughs> that shit's fucking wild. That's wild. It is. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. man. Out of out of all the times. I think of <laughs> when there's an opportunity to use like certain gifts, like, yeah, the playoffs, they are who we thought they were and you play to win the game. That's I literally they come up all the fucking time. I swear to God, I was playing Warzone earlier before Mike showed up and we were playing with a rando. Me and Anthony were just playing with a rando and, uh, we we made some kind of gameplay and the guy was just like, What are you doing? And that that specific verbatim quote came up. <laughs> you play to win the game. <laughs> it's not weird? ironic. It's not ironic because it's the truth. It's the truth. Yep, yep. Um All right. Um we're gonna wrap this up. It's getting late. Mm-hmm. People got to get home to the fams. Um, dipping milk and cookies dot com or no, no, no. Jesus Soon. H. Yeah. No, no, no. We actually do have the domain, so you can go to the website, but there's nothing there yet. Um, Facebook, Facebook dot com slash dipping milk and cookies. Go like and share the page. Um, you can find us on Podbean, Spotify, iTunes, YouTube. Um, Soon to be video. It's on photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Twitch, Twitch, Master Milker, uh, all the words split with uh, underscores. Same thing with me, the Cookie Commander. Uh, find us on Twitch. Our buddy Anthony, who we play uh, quite a bit of Call of Duty Warzone with. Um, his, Nightly. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. His uh, his Twitch page is Spicy Mustard Two One Seven. That's S P I C E Y. M U S T A R D two one seven all lowercase. He's on daily, nightly, and uh, you'll see some shit. He's too. got some good content. Yeah, you'll see some already. shit too that's going to feature Garrett and I as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, go and like and share the pages. Subscribe, rate, review. Um, any contents or content concerns, comments, rude remarks, anything of the sort, uh, send to dipping. Uh, Dipping milk and cookies at gmail.com. Love you, Marky. Um, yeah, send us your content. We keep saying it. We keep saying it. 
And again, the homies have been sending stuff in, but we want shit from people we don't know. So please, it doesn't matter what, what it is. If you're having a shitty day, fucking send it in. Send it in. Oh my God. We haven't been recording. I told you that it was time. on photo and you're yeah. like, yeah, okay. Okay. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. The recording, the audio is still going. That's what matters. Uh, um, yeah. Anywho, we got to get out of here. Everybody be good. Wash your hands. Wash your ass. Very important. Yeah. yeah. Um, until next week, we will catch you on the flip side. Love you, buddy. Love peace. Chicken grease. <laughs>